seriously. Hello. Happy Monday. Here we go again. Hamster in the hamster wheel. Just cleaning up my brushes a little bit because I'm not very good at cleaning my brushes at all. At all. All right, today is no fuss. I already have my primer on. I already have my foundation on. I'm gonna do a quick eye look. I'm going to add some bronzer, some blush, some setting powder, setting spray, and that is gonna be it, and some mascara. I am, I am tired. Let's do a simple look here. I'll be glad when summer and spring is in action because I'm sick of wearing sweaters and sweatshirts and grays and blacks and I want some color in my life. All right, today, today I'm going to use Addiction palette number one. Now in case you don't, in case you've never watched me before or you're not familiar with any of our products, we have palettes already made up for you. There's seven shadows in each and we have, there's going to be six palettes. There's a new one coming out next, I think it's next month, palette six. And it's going to be a mixture of like, um, Topi colors and neutrals and some soft um, pinks. It's just going to be really, really pretty. We do have one that has pinks. If I can find it. I don't wear it much, um, but this is a very pretty palette. It's palette number three. And as you can see, it's got sparkles and mattes and purples, pinks, and then it's got some um, smoky eye dark gray or black for the smoky eye look but today I'm just gonna do the neutral palette they come in a magnetic case and they have a mirror and you can buy them individually or you can buy them in a set of three for only $130 for three so you're gonna get 21 shadows in three sets and these shadows last a long time I'm not fooling all right, so let's go all over the lid with Elated because that's a neutral kind of a base and it's not sparkly, it's a matte and I'm just gonna go all over the lid area with it. Like so. Now we do have an eye primer available on my website. And you can find it under eyes. You go to makeup and then eyes. And everything for your eyes, including the primer, is going to be there. And I do have it. I can show it to you. It's just for your eyes. It's not for the rest of your face. And... It's got a little tint to it because sometimes our, our lids, they're thin and they start showing, you know, some veins or capillaries and so it's got a little tint to it, which is really, really nice to hide all that. You just put it all over your lids and then I just wait five minutes before I would apply any eyeshadow. That's what I would do. All right. So I went all over the lid, all the way up to the brow with my base elated, which is a nude right there. Okay. So now I'm going to kind of wipe off my brush and I'm going to go in this crease area with my blending brush that you can get on my website. I'm going to get into chipper, which is this medium brown color. 
and I'm just going to lightly go back and forth like so. And this blending brush is very, very soft and it's very nice to use. Now I'm not going all the way up to the brow. I'm just going in this area right here, which is the crease area. Okay. I'm just adding a little bit of color and these are buildable so you can always you can always add to it. It's easier to add to it than take away. And make sure you blend. And see how soft this brush is? Very soft. And we're just adding a little color right here in the middle. And I'm going to add a little more over here. Okay. This doesn't look as dark, so I'm going to add a little more. You want to make sure you have equal amounts of color on both eyes. And blend, blend, blend. Just kind of go back and forth like a windshield wiper, swirl it around. There. Okay? So I have that color on. So now I think for my lids, I'm going to go into this Sincere, and it's a shimmer, and it's very light in color, and I'm just going to put that all over my lid area, because I want my lids to be lighter than that color in my crease. See? See how pretty that is? Make sure you get down by your lashes so that when your eyes are open you can see that color. And I'm just patting it. I'm just patting it and kind of spreading it out. Like so. Very, very easy to do. All right, so they look like that so far. So now I'm going to tap in to a darker color and I'm gonna get just right here in the outer corner of my lid in the crease area, okay? And I think I'm gonna go into forthright. See how dark that is? And I'm gonna Barely tap into it because very, very pigmented. I barely tap that and look at that. And I'm going to kind of just kind of swirl it around here in the outer corner. Just a little bit of color. Nothing too drastic, but see the difference. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. Just lightly go back and forth in the outer corner area. And the outer lid. And make sure you get them looking even just very lightly kind of twirl it around here go back and forth just out here in the outer corner okay so there's that all right so now I'm going to kind of add a little highlight up under the brow and I think I'm going to go into some more of that Sincere. And I'm just using an angle brush that you can get through Unique. It's angled on one end and it's got a foam applicator on the other. And I'm just going to go 
up under the brow and give it a little bit of a highlight. Like so. See that shimmer there? I'm going to do the same thing over here. Just a little bit of a shimmer. And then I'm going to get in the inner corner here. Just a little highlight to brighten up my eye. Once again, I'm using Sincere out of Palette 1. And I'm going to swirl it around here. Good morning, Tammy. Hope you had a good weekend. I'll be glad when my weekends are back to normal and I don't have to worry about ice, <laughs> snow, shoveling, any of that. Can't go anywhere, can't do anything. It's too windy, too icy. Too snowy. All right. So that's what we did today. And that's all we're going to do. We used everything from palette one. And once again, I'll recap. We went all over the lid with elated. And then we went into the crease area with this medium brown, light brown chipper. Right in here. And then we went onto the lid area with sincere a little shimmer and then in the outer corner of the eye it's a little darker here we used our fourth right and then I popped a little more of that sincere up under the brow and there you go and that's all I'm gonna do today on my eyes and see it's it's a dressy look but yet it's a neutral look Stayed home. I know. I was supposed to, we were supposed to have a paint day. Something different. There's going to be like 24, 25 um, people going to show up and paint a picture yesterday at the bar. You know, something different. Get out and be constructive. Let your creative juices flow. Paint something springy. And yeah, didn't happen. Too windy. Too windy. So, that never happened. So I ended up staying home. Okay. Alright, so now I think I'm just going to add some bronzer. Add a little glow. I already have my foundation on. And I'm just going to kind of add a little color to my cheeks like so I'm getting a lot of stuff done in the house though <laughs> that's one thing when you have cabin fever you get your house cleaned and you get stuff done in the house all my closets are organized my cabinets are organized <laughs> Cleaned up my refrigerator. Okay, and I'm I'm adding color up along the hairline. Now I'm not too worried about it because I have bangs. But for you ladies that just wear your hair up with no bangs, it's just nice to have a little color up there. Especially if you're not in the sun. And then add a little color under here. Hide all that. All right. Just like so. Nothing too fancy. And now I'm going to add my new blush that I got in this month's kudos you get to pick out your choice of blush this is supple it's like a peachy shimmer and for you fair skin ladies you could use this as a contour or bronzer too counting down the days yeah 
yeah, counting down the days. And then we'll be outside all the time and our houses will be messy. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna add a little glow and it's very pigmented, so be careful. And I am gonna soften that up with my big fluffy brush. But I'm just gonna add it right here in the upper part of the cheek. And once again, this is supple. This is like a shimmery, it's got a little shimmer to it. Peachy color. Okay, and now I'm gonna soften that up using my Behold Setting Powder. See how that softens it up? Now you still have time to order the kudos. It goes till the end of the month. The bangs here, sorry. Okay. My hair is growing. I can curl it a little bit now. So it doesn't look so bad. It's almost down over my ears. Almost. Okay. So that was our setting powder. And it kind of adds to the coverage. Okay. So now, where is it at? Here we go. So now I'm just going to highlight my cheeks with just a little bit, kind of pink it up just a little bit, just a little shimmer. And you could use this on your eyes too. If I was wearing something pink, I would definitely do it. Just a little bit of glow. Okay. And I already have a coat of mascara on, but I think I'm going to add to it. And I'm going to scrape it off get most of it off. Grab my mirror. And even though that first coat has dried, I can go right over it with the second coat. And I'm going to try not to get it on my upper lid. Try. I got a fuzzy in there. Okay. Epic Mascara, guys. Works really good. Look at that. And I scrape most of that off. Now, if your mascara does start to dry out, because when you pump it, when you pump that wand in there, it will, the air will get in there and it will dry out. Just squirt, squirt a little rose water. You can get this. It's Garnier. Skin Active Little Rose Water. You can get this at Walmart. Um, you can also, through Young Living Oils, they have something called Lavaderm. Um, you can spray that in there. Or if you already have our setting spray, you can spray a little bit of this in there and kind of thin it out. Or just set the tube in some really warm water before you use it. But yeah, love it. It'll be two years this October since I've used only Epic Mascara. I will not use any other mascara. I use other eyeliner. Like I'm not crazy about our liquid eyeliner, so 
I'll use Unique Pencil or I'll use, it's Maybelline New York Ice Studio. It's like a gel. I'll use that or I'll use our black splurge cream as eyeliner. But yeah, this is the only mascara I will use. Absolutely love it. And I did it. See? Two coats. Two coats of Epic. We have this in waterproof and we have this in brown. So yeah, like if like this summer, you know, when the weather's more humid, get the waterproof. And then that way you won't have to worry about I haven't had to worry about it. But um if you do, you know, sweat a lot or if you work out. Um, get the waterproof. I've heard nothing but good about it. Okay. So I think I'm just going to spray with my setting spray and that's going to be it. Set my brows. It feels really good. It's really lightweight and it dries instantly. And it just kind of helps everything blend together and stay on. Pretty much stay on. This is also good for sweat proof right here. Um, I've used it as primer. Put it on before you put your makeup on and then definitely after you put your makeup on. And it's pretty much sweat proof. Okay, that's all I got for you today. It was short and sweet. Um, I just wanted to showcase our addiction palettes. I know our Pressed powder palettes, they get all of our attention because they're, well, they're, they're absolutely amazing. I've got a lot of them. I don't have them all, but I've got all these. And then I got all these. And that's not all of them. There's a lot of them that I don't have. You have a fantastic day too, Tammy. One of these days we'll have to catch up. One of these days we'll have to be out and about at the same time and maybe run into each other <laughs> when the weather gets warmer. You're pretty close to me. Maybe we'll have a campfire or something. Have you over? Do something. Okay. Well, that's all I got for you. I hope you have a good Monday. Thank you for watching, Tammy. Appreciate your support. And if you have any questions on anything, um, feel free to ask. If you want to throw an online party and get some party points and free makeup, Get a hold of me. Your party can last anywhere from three days to ten days. And every dollar spent is equal to a party point. And I know until the end of this month, which isn't that far away, um, if you get $300 worth of sales on your party, you will get a free makeup bag, you will get a free lip gloss, and you will get a free splash liquid lipstick. Plus, half off items and party points to put towards your order of whatever you want so yeah so let me hook you up if you're interested all right i'm gonna take off thanks for watching bye